Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days Die Let's Play. This is Alpha 10, Season 10. We are in Episode 22, and I have come back to the base. I, I actually went out off-camera and did a bunch of mining of clay and turned them all into bricks because I, I forgot that I had to mine clay, and honestly, I didn't have enough time on the video anyway to do it, so no big deal. Uh, did a little bit of organizing here, but we need to get ready for this horde because I am really paranoid about these lower dur durability of these blocks. Um, the problem is I don't have enough wood to do what I want to do, so we're going to have to go and get some wood a little bit here. Um, do we have any down here? Oh, well, we have a little bit down here. Still, I'd like to get a little bit more wood. Let's get some more wood for a little while. Let's cut down a few. Oh, that tree right there. Let's let's take that down. I do not like this trick. I think it's cheap, and uh, if you guys like using it, then God bless you. I mean, who's to say you can't use it? I personally do not like it, and I won't use it again. I just wanted to show you guys a trick. All right, let's cut down a couple of these mammoth trees. These things really grew big, and now with the 50% durability, things should go a, a little bit quicker. So. Go. Now there's a lot of cracks in my wall on the first floor. Not the wall I built, but the walls uh, in the main building. And I don't, I, I don't know if I... I know I mentioned this before, just in case you don't remember why I was... Oh, wait a minute. I don't have what I need for it. Oh, crap. I need more iron. Oh, crap. I, oh, God. I screwed up. Hold on. We need iron and we need it now. Oh my god, I totally am not ready for this. So what I'm doing is I'm letting the walls down below uh, break because I'm going to replace them with the, uh, um, the the good walls. What does this break into? So I'm going to replace them with the good walls, the reinforced cobblestone, but I'm going to need rebar for that. And I have no iron. One scrap iron, that ain't going to do it. Uh, let's see if there's some more... Um, I beams over here. These I beams are really good, a really good source of iron. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a lot here. Oh, there's only one in each junkyard. It's not a lot of iron. I'm trying to think if there's any other easy way I can get iron. There probably is. I don't think you get a lot from the cars. Oh, three scrap iron. That, that'll that'll have to do. Yeah, so um, I'm going to need the rebar because I need to... Uh, when they break through the walls, I'm going to replace them. I'm going to replace the walls that they broke through with the reinforced cobblestone. Although, I don't know what it's going to do while they're hitting it if it's not dry. You know, I should probably replace the ones that are almost broken now. Or just repair them now and, and do it tomorrow. Yeah, I probably... It's probably not a good idea to replace walls in the middle of a horde. Um, when you have to wait for the cement to dry. Yeah, probably not the best idea, so I won't do that. Alright, let's get inside. Those doors are not fully upgraded yet, either. There's another thing that's getting on my nerves. And that door is open. Oh, this is going to take longer than I thought. This door is open. Okay, there we go. I'm notorious for forgetting to close doors. Alright, so we don't want to be replacing this stuff in the middle of a horde. So, let's not do that. Let's just repair it. Screw it. Oops. There we go. This doesn't look as bad as I thought. How is this not cracked? I thought this thing was cracked. I thought this wall was cracked really bad. It's just a couple cracks here and there. Hmm. Seems okay. Yeah. Alright, for the most part, it seems okay. Okay, so... We need some added defenses here. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to make a bunch of doors... Should I make metal doors? Well, I can't make metal doors because I don't have the... I don't have the metal. I really should have mined some iron. But, eh, whatever. Uh, secure wooden door will do for now. Throw 
don't know how I want to do this. Now nah, let's do it like this. Mm. It's not letting me put it down. I think it's not letting me put it down because of this frame. Oh, it's not letting me break out the frame. Why won't you go down? Okay, we're not gonna be able to put one on that first level. But, we'll be able to put one here. So what we'll do is, we will just uh, do one of these. Upgrade those suckers. Like I said, this is just added defense. You know, so if the zombies do break through, they're not going to get up here uh, as easily. Just layers upon layers of defense. Make them work for it. Oops. There we go. We'll upgrade you all the way. And this is my bedroom, so let's uh, put one here. And this can go in here, which we can't put it there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to, basically what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna break, I'm gonna have to break one of these stones off and, like, replace it with something. Um, for some reason it won't let me put the door there. Eh. I think it has to do something with this frame, but I can't take the frame off. I, I don't know. Whatever. Alright, so I guess that's a nice set of defenses, so let's, uh, let's work on the bedroom, shall we? Alright, so let's put the picture frames away. Uh, we'll hold on to the couch put these away for now. We'll do inventory management in between videos. Uh, we need the bed. And we need these. Yeah, that should do. Alright, so our bed is going to go right here. I've already marked a lot of this out. So our bed is going to go right here. Alright. It's going to go on both sides. Actually, ugh, I forgot I gotta break this uh, floor out. See right here we got the wooden floor, which is what I want, but I have to break out the carpet. And uh, I was gonna do it later, but I don't want to do it later now because I'm afraid the bed is gonna fall. So let me uh, just pause the video now and I'll come back when this is all broken out. Okay, I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but um, yeah, you don't have to break out the wood part. You just break out that part and then you upgrade the damn wood things. Like I was breaking out the uh, the frames as well. And then putting down new frames. Like, what was I thinking? <laughs> I'm also going to move where the bed's going to be. I'm going to actually put the bed over here. Because it fits perfectly right in between the windows. So let, let's do that now. Let's put down the bed. Alright. Go there. Go there. Uh... Yep. And yep. There's my bed. Love it. Actually, it looks looks really good there. It's a good spot for it. Uh, so let's go ahead and put the end tables on both sides. Then we're going to make uh, nightstands. And we'll put those on either side as well. They're not actually there to hold anything, they're just for looks. And, uh, I don't know, nightstands again? Or end tables? I think end tables. Yeah, I guess. That'll work. Yeah, okay, I kind of like that. Alright, so now we want a couch in here. So let's go ahead and grab our couch... Oh, uh, man, we don't have any corner couches. Uh, the Hub City does not have corner couches, and I'm pretty sure you can't craft them either. Uh, you can craft the old couches. Oh, no, you can craft them. There we go. That's what we want. Let's go grab some leather. What am I doing? Go upstairs. 
wonder where the zombies are. Put this sucker on 50% block their ability and the, they're nowhere to be found. Uh, leather, leather, leather. What do you think? In here? Hmm. It's probably still in the roof. Yeah, it's still in the roof. Yeah, that corn's not growing the fifth. Well, that one grew the fifth. And those did, but I th think I replanted those. Oh, well. Not really my concern right now. Where's that leather? There it is. Boy, that's so cool. I didn't know you could craft the couches. I thought that was just a, um... I thought that was one of Pam's special recipes. By the way, let's uh, get the smelly food out, because if zombies come, I don't really care if they know if I'm here. The only time I don't want smelly food is when going into the hub city. Now, a lot of times if, when you go into the hub city or any time you're out, really, the zombies always know where you are, regardless. But, they'll, I don't know, it, they seem to come more if you smell. I don't really know if it matters, but the, the basic idea is I don't really give a crap if I smell here, because they can bring it on. I haven't heard a zombie all friggin' night. Alright, corner couch. Man, that's so cool you can make these. I didn't know you could. It's really good, because otherwise I would have been screwed, because I don't think there's a corner couch in the whole hub city that I know of. I, I'm pretty sure there is, but uh, I don't know where it is. I have to really search. Here's the question. Do I put end tables at the end? Or the arm thing? I can put end tables there? Or I could put the, the arm thingy. Mm. I'll put the arm thingy. Just because I already have a bunch of nightstand end tables in the in the room. Alright. Looking good, looking good. What one over here? I don't want that to be bare. So how about more nightstands? Actually, let's see what else we can make. Uh, nothing there. Let's see what we got here. Nightstands, leather couch arm, that uh, cabinet. Eh, cabinets really have no place down here. Ooh, a desk. Yeah, let's make a desk. Because why not? Because we can, right? Plants. Plants are on the roof. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna need red. There we go. Twenty four should be good. Now let's make the desk and a chair. Why not? I'll break up the uh, the carpet in between videos. Whoops. All right. Like that. Yeah, like that. Ah, uh, it's going into the wall. It looks like crap. Ah, uh, I'm probably gonna have to make another one now. Okay, that's much better. Now let's go ahead and make a chair. Oh, we need some sticks for this one. Getting fancy.
Can you actually put it in the desk? So you can't put the chair underneath the desk. So I think it would be better to, like... Oh, wait, that looks pretty good. Hold on. This. Yeah, that looks good. Did I make multiple chairs? It's weird. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. By the way, it's 7.30 in the morning, and where are the zombies? Seriously. I have no idea where the zombies are. By the way, I'll show you a neat trick if you ever want to try this. I consider it cheating, and I won't use it, but I'm going to show you right now. So if you go into DM mode, and then you type in, and you put in F8 twice, it shows you the heat map. It shows you 100 wellness. I don't know what that means. Frac 0 0.77. I don't know what that means. But 16% heat means that there's not a lot of heat in the area. Also, we have no horde. But I do consider that cheating, so I won't use it. Just a little something I want to show you. Um, yeah, let me uh, make some torches. I got some inventory management to do, so let me do that, and then we'll make some torches. Okay, got a bunch of torches here, and uh, it's going to be a little bit harder to do in, uh, during the day, because I'm not quite sure... I'm not quite sure where I'm going to need the light sources, but I'm just going to put them wherever I think. I got there, so probably... Let's put down some... Let's put down some paintings. Uh, let's go right here. And here. And here. Probably shouldn't use all the same paintings. Ah, uh, there we go, there we go, okay, all right, I would consider this done, except for one more thing, one more quick step, well, <laughs> I don't know how quick it's going to be, it'll be somewhat quick, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here, we're going to get our trusty old... Crap, I don't know where I put them. It must be downstairs. We're going to get the uh, the windows and put those in. Oh, by the way, I did a little bit of inventory management. This is going to be my building slash decoration box. And then I have my supply box right here, which is going to be for healing items. And then on top of that, I'm also going to have my foliage and animal box um basically not anything that comes from animals uh it's just gonna be leather but uh yeah it's gonna be uh leather and, and plants basically um what the hell am i looking for uh oh yeah windows what do i do with them i guess i used them all oh well uh, hold on yeah, I guess I used them all. Whatever. Make more. We're going to need quite a bit. So someone was telling me that Windows, if you look at them, they have a max load of 7 and a mass of 7. Which means that if you put a window next to another window, it can't hold it. Because its max load is the same as the mass being put on it. So, uh, again, I'm not sure if you can make massive like glass ceilings, but... Uh, I'll get back to it again at some point, but not today, not tomorrow, not the next day. It's kind of, I don't know, it's aggravating. There's someone I, there was someone on the forums who had a really good idea on how to make a glass ceiling, but you know, I just, it's really hard to understand what someone's trying to tell you when they're trying to t when they're trying to type it in text. So I asked him uh, if he would kindly, because uh, he said he did it. And I asked him if he would kindly make a video, or not a video, but a, um, uh, just take a screenshot, you know, for me. That would be great on Steam or anything. And, uh, just let me, just send me a screenshot because, you know, he's like, well, you gotta do this, 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 and that. I'm like, I couldn't really follow him, you know, so. I'm gonna be streaming this today. Uh, maybe what I'll do is on the stream I'll, I'll toy around with, uh, with the glass stuff.
Oh, this is looking really good now. This is looking really good. Love it. I'm getting a little. I'm getting. I'm wondering about the zombies, man. Like seriously, like where are the freaking zombies? It's it's been a while now. I haven't seen one. Like, I know I'm not on like peaceful because they were on the hub city. Pam was telling me um, because of the black spots on my map, uh, that's what happens when your world starts getting corrupt. So I'm starting to get nervous that my world's corrupted and that's why the zombies aren't coming after me. It's gonna suck. I really don't want to have to start a new world in the middle of a freaking season. But, uh, we'll see. We're coming up on day 21, so... Uh, I'm sure we get a horde on the night of day 21 or whatever. Uh, into day 22. Okay. Me likey. Me likey. Very good, very good. Let's just go out. We I got like three minutes left, and honestly, I don't have anything left to do for this video. So let's just go out and see if we can find some zombies, because this is like... This is annoying. There's nothing here. Man, if, if this world's bugged and I have to start a new one, I'm not starting over this season. I'm just going to call it episode 23 and just say, Alright, we started a new world because, you know, this is just sucky. Oh, there's one. Hey, bro, where's all your buddies? Oh, here we go. Yeah, when it becomes nighttime, like from day 21 moving into day 22, uh, that's when I should get a big horde. So, although, I'm still not sure if the uh, big hordes are still in the game. You know, like the day 7, 14, and 21 day hordes, uh, I was told they were out of the game but at first, but now everyone's telling me that they're getting those hordes again, so I don't know what to think. Come on, zombies, you don't have to be scared of me. Well, maybe you do. Oh, here we go. There's a bunch here. I wonder if that five-day clear-out thing happened or something. Because it's like they're just not spawning around my base. I don't know what to think. If you guys have ever had experience with the black on the map like this, or zombies not spawning around your base, let me know because I'm not sure what to do now. I mean, I want the zombies to come in, I want them to attack my base, but they're just not doing it. And once I'm done with the bedroom and I've touched up the base, if I don't have zombies attacking my base, it's gonna get boring. So, I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. But we are coming up to the end of this video, so you guys let me know in the comments what, what's going on, what, what you think is happening, and if there's anything I could do to help it, you know. Uh, I guess I could have my forges running all the time, but, you know, that just seems, like, stupid. I shouldn't... I mean, I understand the way the heat map thing works, but I shouldn't, like, be forced to run my forges and stuff just to get hordes to make the game exciting. That seems a little broken. And I do have my zombies on max spawn, so... Alright, guys, that's gonna do it for episode 22. We'll see you next time for episode 23. Till then, take it easy.